allowing me to speak today. When Jefferson Davis was a boy, he went to Catholic school. He was the only Protestant in the place. And when he was 13, he expressed a desire to join the Catholic Church, and the priest advised him, wait till he had grown to manhood, and then make that decision. And although he never did, he always had a deep love for the Catholic faith. When he was president, he corresponded several times with Pope Pius IX, and I'd like to, uh, I'd like to read an a, a excerpt from that letter. He wrote it in September of 1863, and he, he it, he writes, Very venerable sovereign pontiff, the letters which you have written to the clergy of New Orleans have been communicated to me, and I have read with emotion and deep grief therein expressed for the ruin and devastation caused by the war which is now being waged by the United States against the states and its people, which have selected me as their president. And your, your orders to your clergy to exhort the people to peace and charity. We desire none of our enemy's possessions, but we fight merely to resist the devastation of our country and the shedding of our best blood, and to force them to let us live in peace and under our laws, which ensure to everyone the enjoyment of his temporal rights and the free exercise of his religion. I pray your holiness to accept on the part of myself and the people of the Confederate States our sincere thanks for your effect, efforts in favor of peace. May the Lord preserve the days of your holiness and keep you under his divine protection, signed Jefferson Davis. Pope Pius IX responded, saying, addressing illustrious and honorable president, we have just received with all suitable welcome the person sent by you to place in our hands your letter. Not slight was the pleasure we experienced when we learned from those persons and the letter with what feelings of joy and gratitude you were animated illustrious and honorable president, as soon as you were informed of our letters to our, to our venerable brother John, the Archbishop of New Orleans, in which we have, with all our strength, excited and exhorted our venerable brother that in his episcopal piety and solicitude, he should endeavor with the most ardent zeal and in our name to bring about the end of the fatal war which has broken out in your country uses the plural. It is particularly, particularly agreeable to us to see that you, illustrious and honorable president, and your people are animated with the same desires of peace and tranquility. May it please God to make the other peoples of America and their rulers, reflecting seriously how terrible is civil war, to listen to the inspirations of your calmer spirit and adopt resolutely the part of peace. We at the same time beseech God to shed abroad upon you the light of his grace and attach you to us by a perfect friendship. And while he was in prison during, after the war, Pope Pius IX wrote to him and was so moved when Davis wrote to the Pope and said that he was going to use this time to be a time of prayer and purification of his spirit. And so the Pope was very moved by that and sent him a gift of a crown of thorns made from the very same plant that was crowning our Lord on that day back in 33 AD. So, Mr. Hayes Davis, it's my honor and my privilege to present you with this crown of thorns. And I pray that God blesses you and keeps you and your family in his grace. God bless you.